So, the first impressions of the room is that at least it has a smaller shower than the old one, or the previous one, sorry. Uh, and the room isn't that tremendously big. They've left us sweeties uh, on the desk. What are your first comments, Terry? It is very nice. Good. Twenties. Art deco. And we're looking at... Not really anything. Uh, this is a different street than previously. I think this is the one of the shopping streets. And Kungsgatan is over there. And this is one of the shopping streets going from Kungsgatan. So, wasn't as good as I thought, but it'll do. So, I'll be spending the majority of the trip with the darling wife. I've had time to make videos. The lighting is clearly better this way. So, yeah, nothing. We've just been. I've been working and then there he's been going around Stockholm. And I have. What do you call it? Yeah, we've been to a couple of restaurants. And after a rocky start, it's been a very pleasant trip. And now it's time for my break. Yesterday we had four of this Thai soup and fresh spring rolls. And then that was for dinner. For lunch, I went to check out at Umi. Sticking to the diet, I actually turned the soup at this pot and bun because it had meat in it. And they were kind enough to replace it with a chicken, chicken version, which was great. Excellent service. What else? Yeah, feeling wise, I'm, you know, I think it's compared to what it was at, was it at first, it is quite clear and good. So, the wife is coming for lunch. I think I'm going to take her to Umi and let's see what they have on offer. Uh, the rest of the guys, they left for lunch already. Uh, it's it's a very hot day. I This time I took the bike from Scandic. They made me sign a piece of paper saying that 250 crowns will be added to my bill or something a fairly insignificant amount and then I can I get to take the bike it was more of a trendy thing than uh, anything now but I it got the job done there he is too afraid of riding a bicycle here in Stockholm and uh, let's see, she should call any minute. I was thinking about my condition that I really have come far from me being uh, sorry for myself and crying over my condition. That I obviously mm, relapses might, might occur, but as it stands, everything has kind of very slowly progressed in a better direction. There are still, still symptoms. Uh, I'm a bit stiff getting up a bed and I feel a bit jerky and I've got tingling and electricity in the back of my 
left leg quite often but yesterday I cycled to work came back walked to this restaurant with Terhi had Thai soup walked back came to the hotel and then went for another walk which is let's say uh, at the worst stages that I've had it would be completely unheard of that I would do something like this now it went alright so positive so it was our anniversary yesterday and uh, I took Terhi to Farang it's one of these Tommy Björk restaurants and we kind of enjoyed it and uh, what do you call it? There was a nasty incident. Uh, we drove the taxi to the restaurant, but we walked back. And uh, uh, when I got out of the taxi, the wind blew the door, and it nicked the nicked a park beetle, a modern beetle, on the side of the road, and l uh, left a, a maybe a coin size dent in the in the car and I was getting out of my phone and I said I need to call this guy now and, and see what's going on obviously I didn't know how to do it in Sweden uh, but the taxi driver is ah it's nothing just uh, what do you call it don't bother with it D don't do it and I somehow then didn't uh, I didn't do anything about it, and I uh, went into the restaurant. The meal was very nice, you know, Asian uh, uh, stuff, and we had a bottle of Pinot Noir, and that, what do you call it? Uh, it was a wonderful meal. Uh, I walked home from the what do you call it, a uh, restaurant, and it was a very hot night, I was sweaty and, uh, and un uncomfortable, but then about two or three, you know, the midnight hour, uh, I suddenly, I remember, oh man, the car, I just, I, and I had a, how do I say, very guilty conscious about this, me not reacting to it. Uh, that was my initial instant that, yeah, I need to sort this out. And then I was praying and I was asking for forgiveness. And then I said that Jesus let the car be there this morning. Uh, and uh, I'll, I'll set it right with this man. And then I, well, obviously asked for forgiveness. And then I got peace of the, of the subject and I felt sleep took the bicycle this morning and rode it, it's um, a slight extra, uh, I don't know, a couple of hundred meters, uh, half a kilometer maybe, I rode there and, uh, but the car was gone, and uh, I'm not got it, but I was kind of, oh man, I could have, could have, uh, could have, you know, worked in a right righteous manner, but it didn't happen. Today it is, it's been cycling uh, all week, so I've been cycling to from the hotel to work, and I, mm, I borrowed the hotel's bike yesterday, but it didn't have a proper place for the bag so it was tricky to move it so now it's one hour 30 minutes and then I'm off to the hotel uh, yeah pick up my bag and then we'll go on another one
I'm looking at myself and I look all reddish. Maybe I've gotten some sun. Don't know. Uh, it was a very positive work trip to Sweden. Having company there, it makes uh, it makes life. It, it's more pleasant to be there. And uh, what do you call it? Next week it's off to Sweden on Tuesday, and now it's three days, or three or five days in Finland. So that's a positive change. Uh, I'm debating my myself. I clearly s seem to have very nice. And days, and I also have very unpleasant days. Today again has been a, a day that has brought uh, more questions. But yeah, regardless of my questions or or what I feel, Jesus is King. <laughs>